Hello, and this is the Daily Fourth Thursday, July 8th, 2021. This reading will be done with psychic messages as well as the use of tarot cards for your visual pleasure. So starting off, using my Island Wellness cards for today's energy. The first card that came up for today's energy for all signs, okay, all signs, sun, moon, rising, okay, all elements, air, fire, water, earth. The card is ascending. Ascending talks about transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union, okay? So, when we look at this card, <clears throat> excuse me, this card's energy definitely speaks about What's coming for today, for Thursday, July 8th? This is talking about, for some of you, kind of obstacles pulling back, getting out of your way. It's almost like you're able to fly away from any situations that feel troublesome or things that feel like they are exhausting or things that may kind of be blocking you. Things are going to be removed out of your way so you have a clear vision as to what it is you want to do and where you want to go. You will be going through some learning expansions on Thursday. You are also going to be feeling today as if um, your knowledge is getting increased. There is definitely going to be somebody teaching you something in one way, shape, or form. Okay? This could be somebody teaching you a life lesson. This could be somebody teaching you something at work. This could be also talking about... Um, a new job, a new position, a new career title. Maybe it's school or education. For some of you also talking here about the new phase that's coming in, preparing for union. Okay? So for some of you, the new phase is talking about trying something new in a different style. Maybe a different approach like I spoke about earlier. Doing things in a different way. Taking a different type of action. And for some of you, it may be if you always take action towards something and you're getting no results, then maybe you're going to decide a new phase to stay still and just not do anything. Sometimes you get better results that way. For a lot of you, you'll be preparing for this union that's coming up. Now, this union could be you joining forces with somebody else or a group of people, maybe supporting something that you believe in or a cause. Uh, for some of you, it could be supporting a nonprofit organization. For some of you, you could be also donating time, perhaps to an animal shelter or a homeless shelter or something of that nature. For a lot of you, preparing for a union could be getting prepared to work on a situation with a partner who may have been absent for some time for one reason or the other. This could be talking about preparing for what's coming towards you next in the situation, preparing for this union, pairing up together, or maybe the next step for some of you. The other card that I have for today's energy, in fact, is not enough, not enough. So with not enough, this card, this talks about how maybe in the situation that you were in, in that relationship, maybe you were frustrated in it. Maybe there was something that you didn't get or need to satisfy you in your mental, physical, emotional. It, it was one of those or even spiritual. For some of you, again, being frustrated in this relationship because nothing was changing, nothing was going in your favor, nothing was turning out the way that you hoped it would. For some of you, you may be suffering from a lack of confidence due to the past situation, due to things that your partner may have done. For some of you, it may be somebody belittled you or gaslighted you or ghosted you. For some of you, a lot of the problems for this new beginning that you may have tried to start and didn't work out had to do with self-sabotage. It also, for some of you, had to do with your fear or an ego issue. Now, for some of you, this might not have been all of it may not have been on your partner. It may have been on you. You may have been the one who sabotaged something, feeling that you didn't deserve something that was in front of you. For some of you, it could have been maybe your partner's ego was too big. Maybe they couldn't let something go. Or maybe due to your fears, fears of somebody hurting you again or lying to you or cheating on you, the fear of a breakup again 
is, is what's scaring you. For a lot of you, there could have been jealousy going on in a situation. There could have been somebody who was really pushing your trigger buttons. Somebody who was making you feel less than. Somebody who made you feel like somebody else was better. Or somebody may have chosen someone else over you, which created that jealousy feeling. Which then showed why you had such frustrations in a relationship. Now let's get started with the sign of Aries. Aries, the Ace of Pentacles is coming through today because Aries, the Ace of Pentacles, the universe wants to hand you a blessing. This is a financial blessing or this just be, could, could be something that you've been trying to manifest, getting something to come towards you or someone to come towards you. But it looks like finally things are shaping up. Like I said, I knew they would. Um, things are definitely getting better today being Thursday and Friday's even looking better than that. So stay tuned Aries to see what's coming next, but the universe is helping you out today. They're giving you a helping hand, so to speak. Leo, Leo, you have the temperance card. So Leo, you're willing to share what you have with someone else. You're also wanting someone else to share back with you. It's like, yes, you're willing to receive, but as well as give. There's going to be a lot of balance for you today, Leo, and I feel like work is going to be a little bit easier than it was yesterday. It feels like Wednesday was a little bit overwhelming for you, but things are definitely going to ease up for you for today, for Thursday. Sagittarius, you have the King of Swords, so somebody's being firm about a decision. Somebody's not going to give in. If you're trying to convince somebody to change their mind, it's not going to happen today. It's not the day to get anybody to change their mind, or maybe this is you. Maybe you're going to stay stuck on something Maybe you're refusing to let go of a situation. Maybe you're refusing to cut something out. Or some of you may be refusing to accept someone back. Depending on who I'm reading for. It could be either way. There's plenty of you out there. That is fire signs. Water signs. First card up for water signs starting with cancer. Is in fact the page of cups. So cancer, you can definitely... Feel this energy coming. It's kind of like a Pisces energy. So it's funny that Cancer got this card, but yet it's still a water sign, but there is an offer that's coming in. So be aware with this page of Pentacles, there is a page coming forward. Somebody who's wanting to sweep you off of your feet. Somebody who's wanting to make an offer to you. This is definitely an invite. This is definitely somebody wanting to hook back up. So good luck and congratulations to Pisces because Pisces is the one who's going to get you. All right, so Cancer, that was you guys, but congratulations to Pisces because a lot of you Cancerians are going to be dealing with the Pisces, and if they're lucky enough to get you, they better work hard to keep you. That's all I can say. All right, now we're on Pisces. So Pisces, you better not have something here about Cancer. Let's see what's going on. Okay, all right, so Pisces, you got the death card. So Pisces, there is an ending to a situation, but like I say, with endings, that's fantastic because it means something new can start. So tomorrow's going to be a great day. A great day. Thursday is going to be a great day. Friday is going to be a great day. So I see Thursday and Friday for you very clear. And it's showing that pretty much it's a blessing because you're kind of being favored. And this is going to show you that even though you are upset about something, there's changes that are coming. And somebody needed this change. Somebody needed an ending so they could realize what the hell they're doing. And they could straighten themselves up and come back towards you in a better way or come back with a better offer. So, get excited now. Pisces, get excited now because something's coming in good. All right. Scorpio, you have the hangman. So, Scorpio, either you're stalking or somebody's stalking you. Somebody's watching you. Somebody won't leave. Somebody's definitely hanging around. Somebody's too nosy to see, not see what's going on. Somebody needs to know. Somebody can't stand not knowing what you're doing or as you that can't stand not knowing what they're doing. But either way, Somebody's hanging around wanting to know what's going on. That is water signs, fire signs, water signs. We're done. Now we are on uh, earth signs. Earth signs, Capricorn, you have the eight of pentacles. Capricorn with the eight of pentacles. You are working your butt off, working really hard, trying to get something accomplished, trying to get something done before the weekend. Definitely trying to catch up. So pretty much Thursday, Friday is going to be about catching up for you. Catching up. Taurus, Taurus, we have the five of swords, so Taurus, you're tired of fighting, you're walking away from the situation, it's like, you know what, I just can't do this anymore, I, I need a break, I, I might need to end this, I, I, somehow, some way, maybe we need to make up, maybe you're tired of fighting with somebody, again, disagreeing with somebody, 
Maybe you had words. For some of you, like I said, you always say you, you could have won the battle, but you lost the war. Either way, nobody's winning here if you're not talking. So there's going to be a truce that's coming up. It should come up in Friday's cards, but there's going to be a truce here. So be patient. Virgo. Virgo, you have the Ten of Wands. Virgo, it's like, you know what? You are tired of holding on so much. You are getting exhausted. You're overwhelmed with all of this. It feels like, you know, you've been doing this for quite a while. You don't know how much longer you can do it. You're wanting to find the strength to go forward, to move on. You also want the courage to walk away from this. Just drop it and walk away and say, you know what? I can't do this by myself anymore. Somebody's not willing to, to do the work with you. Somebody's helping uh, out. Not at all. No, nobody's helping. You see you're by yourself. And, and you're struggling with this. And you know what? It takes two to tango. Two to make it and two to break it. So you've just had you just had about enough of all this. you just about had enough. You're going to either be walking away or you're going to tell somebody that I can't do this much longer. You're getting to that point. Yep, you're getting to that breaking point. And I got another card here for Virgo. I'm sorry, I got a card for Virgo. I've got to do this card here for Virgo because it talks about the Queen of Cups. So this may be the person that you're going to talk to. This may be somebody who you're confiding in. This may be somebody who really looks up to you or really worships you. This may be somebody who thinks the world of you. This is definitely somebody thinking about what they had with you, the relationship they had, the situation. Somebody's missing something really bad. And it's like they'd give anything to have it back. So either that's you. Or that's them. And this is what you're going to do tomorrow. And this is what you're going to do on Thursday. So between today and Friday. Okay. Between today and tomorrow. So you're, tomorrow is coming in really strong. So I feel like today you're doing all the thinking. But tomorrow there's action coming. So Friday there's action coming with this. Be patient. All right. Gemini. You have the Eight of Cups. So Gemini. Somebody's definitely being sneaky around you. Somebody's holding back. Not telling you everything. Or not telling you the exact truth. It also feels like somebody has many options, but they may have turned their back on some, some of these options because as you see, they're not facing this way. So somebody might be walking away from options and deciding to finally make a decision. So this could actually be an amazing card for you right now, even though the moon's there. It's like, you know, somebody knows that there's somebody up in heaven helping them make a better choice or decision. Somebody is starting to look at something in a new way. It's like with a new face kind of thing. And you can see that face in the moon, you see. So listen, somebody that you were around who thought it was great having all these options may have finally realized, you know what, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. I don't like having all these choices. I'd rather just be with one person. So this is either what you're saying or this is what your partner is saying. So this is the energy for today, for Thursday. All right? So be patient. Be patient. <coughs> Libra. Libra, you have something to celebrate Good news coming your way. There's definitely going to be something here that you're going to do with somebody else. Something you want to bring forward. Something you're wanting to share with one another. There's definitely going to be no obstacles in your way of success for today, for Thursday. So be patient, but things are definitely going to move forward in a good way. Be patient. You're going to be happy about something. Somebody might get a congratulations. Somebody might have a happy birthday. I don't know what's going on, where you're going, who you're doing it with, but... You're definitely going to be really happy about something or happy about an outcome. Aquarius, you have the three of pentacles. Aquarius, you might be tired of dealing with a third party situation or you might not be sure, but you might be assuming that there's a third party going on here and you didn't know nothing about it. It may also feel like um, you and some friends may be gathering at a church. Somebody might be getting baptized. Somebody might be um, asking for prayers. Somebody might be... Uh, coming in to uh, volunteer at a church. There also might be some information here where you're looking to someone for guidance. You might be looking for a counselor. You might be trying to talk to a priest or a minister or a pastor. But either way, it's you seeking the help that you need or it's you dealing with a third-party situation or it's two people trying to figure out whether we need to go to counseling or whether we need to just walk away from the situation. So that's pretty much what I see for you guys for today, for Thursday. Friday is going to be a different style for Aquarians. It's, it's going to be more of a quieter energy. It's going to be like problem solved. So by Friday, problem solved. So that is the energies that I have for today. That is the information and the psychic messages as well. I want everybody to be safe. 
Take your time. Stay cool. Stay hydrated. It's extremely hot over here in New Jersey, and I know it's hot in a lot of other places as well. So be safe. Stay hydrated. Say your prayers. And everybody be patient. Now, if you look at the TV, doesn't that look like a number three? Does that not look like a number three on there? Amazing, wasn't it? Okay, you guys, I'll talk to you soon.